engagement across the board has, has increased incredibly. Um, this is our first day and we haven't been able to count the numbers yet, but I'm, I'm pretty sure this must be a record first day for us. Um, we've had engagement from people coming through the door. We've had more partners signing up, which is another example of companies realizing that this is the place to find and inspire the new generation of scientists. We had public sector people in at a seminar this morning to hear what was going on here and we have business people joining us tomorrow. So across the board, huge engagement. And we've seen it in the media as well. They're covering it across the board, what's going on here. It's continuing to increase and it's not just a one-off this year. It's, a, it's been a trend over the last few years. Increased interest in what's happening and increased understanding of just how great this exhibition is, both to visit, but also what it's producing in terms of the winners going on to be so successful. Um, our project is the SANS device, the South African Moisture Sensor for Soil. We've made a sensor that shows the best moisture and the sensor definitely works, it definitely improves, it, it improves crop growth and we think it would be beneficial to farmers for their agriculture and also beneficial to Ireland in the way that we have more exports going out. Science isn't just, uh, just a school subject, it's, it's a philosophy and it's a way of thinking and it um, challenges young people to look at a proposition and then, uh, uh, then examine it and test it and see if it's, uh, see if it's really true and it's, um, it's, a, it's a life skill really and it's uh, very good that BT and that other people are sponsoring it. Yeah, the judges have a hard job to do. Um, by their very nature, any project that gets into the exhibition uh, is of a very high quality. Um, and of course, they're very varied. They vary from sport to transport to, uh, you know, uh, medical issues and so on. So um, uh, they have a tough job to do. So I'm glad I'm, glad I'm not judging it anyway. It's absolutely amazing. We've taken a little bit of time to tour around, seen some of the things that these guys have been working on. It's just absolutely remarkable. You can hardly believe that these are school kids. We saw one... Uh, one pair of kids who had, uh, they built an ultrasonic um, uh, a virtual um, stick for blind people. And so these are people looking at problems that they see in the world and then looking to see whether they can come up with technological solutions for them. If we hit 45,000, that would be incredible. Um, and certainly, as I say, it's early days yet, but certainly we will be, um, we will be optimistic that we can hit that, hit that number.